Hey guys, so this is a little bit of a different setup for me. I know, I know, I know. I am filming a little bit of a Christmas video. And this is my Christmas outfit. So as you guys know, I study fashion. And I really like making stuff. So I was like, I need to bring this more to this channel. I need to show you guys what you're missing. So I'm doing a DIY Hi guys, Christmas outfit. So here we are. And it's all about making this dress more Christmassy. Some of the things you're gonna need for this little DIY. A measuring tape, pins or safety pins, scissors. I have fabric shears because obviously I do fashion. But if you just have household um, kitchen scissors, that's fine. This needs to be sharp. A pencil. And last but not least, white elastic. What you need to do is take the dress, turn it inside out. So you wanna take your dress and then you wanna find where you would like your dress to stop. Remember, because we are using the sewing machine, I've never tried this with a glue gun, my hat, work or fabric glue. If you want to take where you want it to stop, I want about the waist, about here. Take into consideration that it won't actually stop here, it will stop probably about here for the top and there for the skirt. So, yeah, these are my markings. This is where I'm actually going to cut. This is probably where it will stop, and down there is probably where the skirt will stop. So, there and there. That's my marking. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this line all the way around with my measuring tape, trying to keep it at a steady height. It doesn't have to be a straight line, it can be like dotted lines. Whatever's quicker and you guys find easiest. But also, so you can do it all the way around if you don't feel you're confident, confident enough. But since I'm quite used to cutting my clothes, sadly, I am just going to take this off the mannequin, go onto the floor, fold it in half and cut. So what we're going to do now, like I said, it's a really simple DIY. Take your elastic band, then you're gonna measure this around your own waist, or basically where you want your skirt to stop. I'm gonna do it around my arm, but you guys can do it around your waist. So you can take the elastic band, place it around your arm, and you have to pull it tight. Tight so it's comfortable. So like if I was gonna have it this tight, I was gonna wear it all day, eventually it will hurt. That tight I can deal with. And when you can get that much, you're gonna move down five centimeters on each side and cut and then you wanna do this twice. One about where your top will stop and the other one where your skirt will start. My mannequin's on the same side as me, guys. What you wanna do now, make sure you know what elastic is rich and then you want to fold it in half, get a pin or a safety pin. I use pins because I have them available, but not everyone has pins. And then you wanna pin them together. Like that. And then you wanna come here. A bit of sewing um, terminology guys, you're now going to make notches. So what you can do, you can fold it in half and make a tiny slit here. Guys, when I say tiny, I mean tiny, like look at that, it is tiny. The bigger you make it, the worse it's going to be for you. Make another slit, tiny. Now you want to get your material, your material elastic, where you made those slits, put that against the middle now you have two more side and you're going to make four more notches now you're going to unpin this one and wrap it around the waist these sides you want to make it at the side where it has a seam as it will be easier to disguise also i'm thinking about personally later on putting in a zip into it just for myself so i'm going to make it this side what you need to do now i know annoying you need to make this the right way around. So when you sew your fabric, you sew it so the right sides are together. The right side means the right side of the fabric, which means the side you are going to see. So now you're gonna pick, I picked this corner, remember? So I'm just gonna lay my fabric here. I'm gonna get a pin. I'm just gonna pin it like this. I'm gonna overlap it a bit over the seam. Oh gosh, guys, I can't overlap it a bit over the seam because I'm doing a failure. So overlap it a bit over the seam, if you can see that, hopefully you can. So the seam stops there and I pinned it so it comes across a bit. The first notch you made here has to go in the middle of your garment. This, the second notch has to go at the other side. The third notch, the middle, and the end has to go back there. So this is what it is now. The thing you do now is take this off the mannequin and set up your sewing machine. So what you just saw me do was sew around most of 
the dress leaving a gap at the beginning where I overlapped my elastic then I sewed the ends of my elastic together then I re-sewed then I re-sewed over the gap I left so there will be now you know holes in the top and it will be more sturdier than before what I have now done is that I have now gone and cut off the sleeves and made it into a little desktop and to me it looks really 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 sporty I really like that now that I've cut off the armholes leaving a little bit of extra material I then fold this material back and I sew down this is basically it and I'm looking at this I was like this does not look that crispy this looks like a really eye body con top and skirt so what I did, I made a quick one to my local haberdashery to get something that I think would make it so much more festive. Unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of it, so I only managed to buy one meter of it. But look, guys. Now I think this in itself makes everything look a lot more Christmassy. So I was thinking, do I add it on the waist? But if I add it on the waist, I don't have enough for the top and the bottom. Or do we? Add it around the armholes. You think you might get a little bit sweaty, so yes, indeed, I'm going to add it to the neckline. I feel like it does so much more. It makes it look so much more Christmassy and festive. Do you want to know how to do that? Just continue watching. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm going to put this right at the shoulder seat, which is here. Pull it all around at the front to make sure it fits perfectly. I'm taking my scissors, come around to this side and slipping it off again at the shoulder seam. Give or take a centimetre or two. Snip, nope, snip, nope, snip, nope. Snip. If you do have a glue gun, just take your glue gun, glue down and go around. Take your fabric glue, glue down and go around. You want to pin it all the way up on both sides. All the way up. And just wear it like this, guys, with the pin sticking through. Now I'm just joking. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white thread and I need a needle. Your needle and white thread and just thread it. You are then going to tie a knot at the end of the thread. I tie about three to five knots, depending on having a good knot day or not. Thank you. Good people are watching me. Yep. And that one that ties is okay. So what you're going to do now, get your needle. I've already done two. And you are going to go up through the back of the fabric into the middle bit of this. So I think it's called boa. Then go back down for the material and get it further down and repeat the same thing. So you'll go a bit further down. But gravity pulls you straight down As you guys are able to see I am showing you guys a lovely choker If you know I made this Go right over to our website And there will be a step by step tutorial And guys With that being the end of the choker This is the end Of my DIY Christmas outfit You think I did well Or not let me know what you plan to wear this Christmas in the comment section below and anything you love about Christmas because I love it so much. And then also if you enjoyed this video, like something new, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more com content. So if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to enjoy all the other ones on our channel. The first box is definitely a small video of Christmas little goodies. Go check that out, because I'm sure you enjoy it. And the box below is one of our many TTV Christmas themed videos. Also, if you click that picture down there, that's how to subscribe to our channel. And that picture down there is take you to our website. I hope you guys enjoy having a little browse around. Bye!